Hi, this is Bren Antra, one of the librarians here at Santa Monica College. And this will be a very short introduction to a very interesting database called Country Watch. To get to it from the college homepage, mouse over student support and click on library. This interface may look a little differently when you do the search because we're going through a redesign, but the search strategy should still work. When you get to the library page, scroll down to databases and click on that. Under All Databases, which is a list of all of the databases that we currently subscribe to, along with a short description of what's in them, you scroll down alphabetically to get to Country Watch. This is a very interesting database to just browse through. Um, Country Wire gives you breaking news on hot spots around the world. It has a coronavirus alert that is quite in-depth, including quite a lot of statistics as well. It has a featured country, and right now, due to the issues that we're facing, that would be the United States. And a political intelligence briefing, as well as a political intelligence wire. A briefing is a description of what is going on in a particular area, and the wire is news reports supporting and fleshing out that briefing. It also includes videos and a roundup of elections going on around the world that are upcoming. But most of the time, people coming to this database don't come just to browse. They come because they want to look up information about a particular country. To do that, you would mouse over Intelligence Zone, click on it to get the drop-down menu, and click on Country Reviews. From there, you would select a country, Let's go with Canada. Right up top, you have a map. You have the current country wire, um, the news archive of what's going on around that right now. You have various images of the country. It's quite beautiful. You have information about the country that then breaks into an economic forecast, key data about two thirds of the way down the page, and various indexes that it's linked to. Going back up to the top of the page, you have links to all of those areas, and you also have breakdown reports about politics, economics, investment, which as you note is very different than economics in this situation, people and culture, an environmental overview, and the ability to download the entire country review in a PDF format. If you decide that you want to take a look at one of these, the page goes in depth on whatever that topic might be. This might be useful, for example, if you're in a business class and you need to find out about cultural etiquette in another country so that you can have good business relationships when you go into negotiations, for example. This database does not help you with citation. Instead, it gives you at the bottom a citation information page. This is broken down into MLA 8th edition and APA styles. This gives you the general format. However, as you can tell, it's sort of patchworked. Um, it doesn't have a tanging indent. It's the wrong font and the wrong font size. It's got things just sort of stuffed in various places with no spacing where there should be spacing. No period at the end, so there are problems. Take this basic bibliographic citation and plug your country and your page into it. Make sure that you update the date and make sure that it matches the template that your instructor gives for you to use in your class. If you have questions at any time, you can go back to the library homepage and directly under the databases button is the Ask a Librarian button. This is 24-7 research assistance, either from an SMC librarian or from a librarian um, from a college or university 
in one of our partner institutions in our consortium. Good luck with your research and be well.